this is where we ended up last night. The uh, couple who runs this place are really, really nice and very helpful. They stayed up for us. They waited. They tolerated us being towed in here with the tow truck dropping us off right there. And uh, I can't say enough. And there was another couple who saw us broken down and stopped to help. They said they were fellow RVers and they know how it is and they they just wanted to help and they did. And uh, yeah, we finally got here in a really good spot. We, if you broke down, we were very lucky. Um, could have been in worse places and we, we know that. We could have ended up on the side of the highway in the heat. Um, trying to avoid being hit and running scrambling up a hill and everything else and so breaking down about a mile from this place couldn't ask for anything better and I'm really impressed by the people here who have helped us stop to help us and everything it is just amazing all right we're walking to the gas station try and get some uh paper towels and change so it's supposed to be across the street but it's actually <laughs> way down there and here it is is very highly recommended by me Miller's Outpost RV Resort there's the phone number and everything in case you can't see it <laughs> very 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 nice people the missus thinks I'm weird for doing this, but I think a lot of people that may watch these videos would be interested to know what the amenities are like, and this is one amenity that is very important to people. But anyway, again, another killer bathroom setup where you have your own private rooms. And this has got this uh, cedar in here, makes it smell really good. And, uh, you know, it's tiled really nicely and everything. So, yeah, this is another great amenity. So whatever happens tomorrow, we're getting ready to bug out. The kids are packing necessities and the missus in case we have to leave the RV at the shop and they can't fix it here. And then we get a rental car. <laughs> Good luck with that. There's no one-way rentals anywhere. Or maybe a family member, my sister comes down with our car and we leave that way. That means that we'll have to, I will have to come back and get the RV if and when they can fix it. But right now, packed up all the electronics and using the extra capacity of the bags to put clothes in so that we can take it with us. Well, as they say, we can't do much of anything till tomorrow, so maybe the last sunset of our vacation, even though today I'm supposed to be at work at midnight, but um, yeah, had to call in sick for that, so let's hope that we can get it all figured out tomorrow. We're praying.